This is TomorrowPictures.tv. I didn't breathe. George Floyd. Uh, I'm going to in Washington, D.C. We're going to do something that uh, people have to see before. In the brief span of 30 odd years, the world has seen an inventor's dream. This is no simple reform. Freedom and human dignity. It really is a revolution. You could ask yourself a question. Teach you how to kill. Do I feel lucky? We're like the stupid people. Far more powerful than anything man has yet devised. Inspiration and hope. Life is visceral. Tearing down that wall. Buy a man for a man. Because we had stupid politicians doing stupid things. Let's get this straight. The United States. Enough on his life. And boldly. Stupid. It's going to. And, you know, we, we, we've done nonviolence, and, and there are times where things have gun violent, Fer, Ferguson, Baltimore. And, you know, it can be very confusing when you don't know what to do. Because when you spend lifetimes being nonviolent, and the only response is we're still going to uh, degrade you as black people or as gay people, it's going to be like, you know, we're finally going to lash out. So it's not irrational that they started, you know, breaking things and burning things down. They did it for a reason for of dying. No offense to any Caucasian people, but they were doing it for football games and baseball games and hockey games. And police officers actually got hurt. And, and Trump's made it seem, and Trump's made it seem like that the middle-aged white American is the one who is now underrepresented and doesn't get the fair deal. When that is clearly not the case. He's made this election not about the issues. He's made this election making it seem like your average American doesn't get a fair deal anymore. That's why he says make America great again. What what does that even mean? What great to win? Do you have any opinions on his war on terror? I know I've heard that he said uh, he is the only person that can end this war on terror. How do you feel about that? And that is why I'm here the most, because he went on TV and publicly said, I will get, go after the lives of innocent people and kill them and torture them to get what I want. He said he would go after the families of the lives of um, terrorists. And I know if someone in my community became a terrorist, and just because I knew them, even though I completely didn't like them, I disown them, I don't know them anymore, they're dead to me. I can still be tortured because of that. And, it, and his p proposal doesn't just go to not just American citizens, but it goes to people worldwide, internationally, which again causes a lot of foreign policy issues. So I'm here because like, I don't like that proposal. I think that in 2016 we're beyond torture and we're, be we're beyond that. It's just, I, I don't think that he has that kind of... Uh, Yes, yeah, I don't think he has that kind of leadership that's going to, that's going to, what we need. We can't, we can't do the torture thing anymore. It's just barbaric. Do you have any other concerns? That, anything else you want to hear him talk about today? Uh, I would like for him to talk more about uh, togetherness. You know, like, I, I've, I've seen a lot of his speeches and stuff, but he's always talking about winning and winning and winning and winning and winning. But if you notice, sometimes when you win, you lose a lot. You know, you lose friends, you lose connections, you do this, you do that. It's, when, it's knowing when to win and knowing when to lose for a good reason. It's not always about winning. You know, he kicked out um, people who booed him today in Rhode Island uh, this morning. Are you worried about getting in with the Bernie sticker in your hair? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> If I don't get in, then it just proves, like, I'm here to understand, you know, and if I don't get in because I have this on my hair or because, like, anything, like, they don't like the way I look or they automatically think, they think I'm a liberal, that doesn't necessarily mean, <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, like, I, I don't like them, you know, like, I'm trying to be here because I want to understand. It just proves that, that he's closed-minded and that the, his supporters are closed-minded to understanding and talking to other people about these issues. So if I don't get in, I'm kind of right. <laughs> Can't say I don't agree. Anything else you want to add? Uh, no. I hope you guys get some more stuff and, like, uh, have a good day. Thank you. Thanks for talking with us and look for us on tomorrowpictures.tv. Yeah, he was big talking about competition this morning and collusion, but it wasn't uh, 
on a it was on a personal level between yeah. the other politicians. He's he's not a politician. That's the thing. You think he needs to be a politician to have the job? I, I don't think you need to be a career politician. Experience obviously does not hurt. But I think we need somebody that can really unify the country and he says he can unify it. He's the greatest deal maker of all time. He has, he's the smartest dude of all time, right? According to him. If he's so able to unify us, why is half the student body protesting his simple arrival here? They're not protesting. They're protesting that he's here, not even his ideas, that he's here. How long have you been out here today protesting? See, I left my house at like noon. What time is it now? Four ish? Yeah, I've been out here. I've just been walking. Anything else you want to say with us today? Go Chargers. <laughs> Where could I see this online? <laughs> Tomorrowpictures.tv. Tomorrow awesome. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Uh, tonight, we'd like to say a uh, special thanks. We don't have much time to thank everybody, and especially to our friends in business and to our wonderful friends here and all of you the out there for your great loyalty. Justice will be served. I would simply like to say that I think this has been one of the great days of America.